Along the coast of Louisiana, wetlands are disappearing at an alarming rate due to both natural and man-made factors. To help prevent further land erosion, extensive coastal protection and restoration plans are underway throughout the Louisiana coastline. Part of these efforts include marsh creation projects, which use sediment dredged from nearby water bottoms to quickly restore wetlands, expand habitats, and help prevent future land loss. Here in the marsh along the Calcasieu Lake Rim, Morris P. Hebert, known as MPH, is tasked with surveying 240 acres of newly created marsh to assess the restoration and fill levels for their client. LiDAR technologies and drone surveying equipment from microdrones are said to help MPH, a prominent name in surveying, engineering, and environmental services, get the job done, even from an airboat, which will be needed to access some of the areas of the site. But plenty of obstacles await. Can MPH collect the robust data needed to survey the restoration project and quantify the levels of new marsh creation? It's time to find out. Welcome to Down to Earth. My name is Dakota Dagenhart uh, with Morris P.A. Bear. I'm an environmental regulatory specialist, but I'm also their drone pilot and as well as their uh, hydrographic survey guide. The project we're working on is a marsh restoration project. And the client wanted us to gather some information on how much fill was put into the area. And uh, using the LiDAR area, we're able to calculate that and um, we'll probably be able to get them some other useful data, at least on the environmental side of that as well. Hey, Kylie, did y'all find a way in yet? I'm just past the Cameron Parish Public Library. Is that too far? Amico Road behind the courthouse. Oh, okay, I see y'all's truck. I see y'all's truck park. This morning posed a little bit of a challenge to find our takeoff location. Our first access point uh, turned out to be futile. The road was blocked. There was a gate across and a cattle guard, and then it just deteriorated into just a marsh trail, which our van and our truck wouldn't be able to uh, access. We ended up finding an access route. It was actually very rough, but we were able to find a spot. So yeah, we had to come back through the other road being as the this one wasn't accessible so we're just gonna get our gps base out and start setting up our drone that way we can be ready this is kind of backwards from what we're used to seeing in this part of louisiana usually what we're doing is we're doing assessments for land loss but in this case, it's actually the other way around. A company actually installed uh, marsh in, in this open area. And so we're coming out here, we're doing kind of a construction assessment to see how much they've actually added. And we can compare that to what was here before, which was nothing. We had a KML that we imported from the data that the client gave us. So what they're trying to do is calculate the fill area that they filled in for this marsh creation. When we do the LIDAR, you have to do the alignment waypoints, which we set one from the beginning and one at the end. This will probably end up being a four to five flights to complete the whole mission. So we'll have to do manual alignment points after the first mission. We did the alignment waypoint, now it's going to the mission itself. We did the uh, alignment waypoint at 50 meters, and it's gonna, as we climb, go out, it's gonna climb up to 75, get to the first line, turn itself, and start scanning. Anytime we get start getting heavier wind, it starts affecting our battery life. A small breeze is not bad, it actually helps the battery. Uh, the aerodynamics of UAV, it provides lift so the motors don't have to work as hard. But once you get over about 10 miles an hour, it starts to draw on the batteries a little more. We're gonna go ahead and bring it in. And this is our last flight, but today it's starting to get a little chilly, so we're gonna call it a day. Today we ended up having to fly approximately a 240 acre area uh, it's going to take us we estimate about eight flights uh, we're able to do four today in a comfortable timeline uh, and we'll, we'll finish up the project in the morning
Today, I think the mission went really well. We got the data that we were looking to get. The way that the software works is that we go into our drone configurations and we set it to enable our waypoint missions. So when we come back tomorrow, the drone will remember exactly where we ended and we'll be able to start back up, take off, and resume the waypoint mode and it'll pick right back up where we left off today.